Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome again in the virtual learning system of Pakistan International School Taif, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. As you know that this is Pakistan International School Taif online class for class nine junior or class eight. And subject is computer science. This is our 15th lecture or 15th video on the YouTube. And teacher name is Imran Ahmad. Already we have started the chapter number one and this is the title page of your course. Keep in mind one thing, this could be our last lecture before Eid holidays. The summer vacations are announced. We will inform you through our groups. Today our topic is write a note on input devices. Write a note on input devices. First of all, you must know about the input when we feed the data into a computer is known as input to the computer. When we feed the data into computer is known as input to computer. So today we will discuss over here the input devices, how many input devices are there. There are a number of input devices nowadays present in the market. You can purchase, you can try them at your home. But the most commonly input devices which are used in computer system, we will discuss over here. Some devices are very common to use and some devices uh, are rarely used with the computer. And the common devices which are used to input to the computers, we will discuss over here. Answer of this question, write a note on input devices. Answer is all devices used to feed data into a computer are known as input devices. So feed data means when we type the data or when we enter the data into computer are known as the devices which are used to feed or enter the data is known as input devices. Some commonly used. Input devices are commonly used means which we are using commonly at home, at outside, everywhere is known as input devices or keyboard. Most important device without keyboard computer is just box of metal. So keyboard is the most important device. Second one is mouse. Third one, microphone. Microphone means one is headphone. Headphone is output device and microphone is input device. Keep in mind, headphone is output device while microphone is an input device. Our device having the both. One is uh, microphone. Oh, nowadays a device is present in the market which have the mic is also attached with that. So it is the both input and output device, but microphone, if you are using the simply microphone, that is the input device. And if you are using the headphone, this that device is known as output device next is scanner keep in mind scanner is an input device not an output device barcode reader digital camera and touch screen so these devices are known as input devices we will explain one by one in detail first one is keyboard keyboard it is a main input device to communicate with the computer. Communicate means with the help of input device keyboard, we can enter our data into a computer system. For example, if I want to type something, I will use the keyboard. So it is a main input device to communicate with the computer. It allows the computer user to enter letters. So letter means alphabets A, B, C. Small alphabets or capital alphabets. Numbers. Number means zero to nine digits are called numbers. And special symbols. Special symbols means ampersand, 
comma, semicolon, up to so on. These are known as the special symbol. Why we use into a computer system? Into a computer. With the help of keyboard, we can fed the data or when we can input the data to computer with the help of keyboard. Next commonly, so you can further explain this keyboard, keyboard the, let's say, I can say that keyboard, uh, division of keyboard, one is numeric keyboard, numeric keypad, alphabetic keypad, special functions, function keys, functional function keys are F1, F2, F3, up to F12, these are known as function keys. And zero to nine on the right side of keyboard, there are zero to nine digits are written over there. They are known as numeric keypad, while we are the A, S, D, F, G, and this is called the letter or alphabetic keypad area. Some of the navigation keys are also there. Navigation keys means navigations up arrow, down arrow, right arrow, left arrow. These are called the navigation keys. So this is about the keyboard. So keep in mind, keyboard, keyboard is an input device and very, very input device without keyboard, we cannot enter the data. Next is mouse. Next important device is mouse. Watch over here, you are watching the movement of the cursor. This is actually, I am using the mouse. Okay. It is handheld device. Handheld device means I can hold this, de this device in my hand. That's why we called it handheld device. Used to control the movement of cursor. Control the movement of cursor. For example, you watch over here. This cursor is moving right, left, uh, top to bottom. I can move. So this device is used to control the movement of cursor or pointer so you will you can say that this is cursor or pointer on the screen this is computer screen it has two or three buttons at the front that allows the computer to use uh, computer user to make selection in menu it has two to three buttons some mouse have the two buttons and some mouse have the three buttons so one is navigation button. Let's say I am rotating this one. This is navigation button. And one is selection button. Right selection is used for the properties. And the left, the left selection is used for the selection. Right button is used for the properties, while the left button is used for the selection of anything. For example, let's say I just right click over there. This is the properties are appeared. When I use the left button, and with the watch over here, I use the left button. So this uh, left button is used for the selection. And when I scroll up and scroll down, so I use the center button or center scroller. So this one is called the input. So input is an device, pointing device. So you can say that mouse is a pointing device. Why, why I'm calling the pointing device? Because the pointer is used. So this one is mouse. Next is microphone. With the help of micro, keep in mind, with the help of microphone, with the help of keyboard, we can input the data using numbers, letters, and special symbol. But with the help of microphone, we can input to the computer our voice. So we use, if someone says, how to input your voice to the computer system, so answer will be with the help of microphone, we can input our voice to the computer system. So microphone, it is a device that allows computer user to input audio, audio means voice into computer. It changes audio signal into electrical signals. Why? It changes electrical signal, audio signal, because I am communicating and uh, I am talking to you as, so my voice signals are converted into which signals? Electrical signals. Now these signals are translated into digital form. Digital form means my voice first analog signals is converted into digital signal. So my voice is converted into electrical signals, then electrical signals are converted into digital signals and digital signal means zero and one. Why I am saying this zero and one, it will be because 
our computer is only understand two numbers and these two numbers are zero and one so all of our voice is converted into digital form which are translated into digital form by sound card are passing for the processing in the computer who will convert electrical signals into digital form with the help of sound card sound card is used to convert the electrical signals analog signals into digital signals so this device is also a input device next next device is scanner most of the scanner have the printer also that's why voice says it is an output device so it is wrong answer scanner is an input device i told you that most scanner have the printer also because boys are watching the printer printer they says it is a printer that's why it is a uh, output device but they don't see the scanner over there scanner is fixer photocopier machine is also a you can say that if the photocopier machine is used for scan then the, the, at that time it will call the input device but when it will generate the output means in the form of paper then at that time we call it as output device so for the, for scanner is an input device it is a device that capture images what is the purpose of scanner that captures images from photographs magazines books etc so you can if you like any picture in your book so most of the picture i scan already from the your book and place on my lecture so that's why i can say that scanner is an input device which accept the images although nowadays scanners are available which can translate the alphabets also means if i scan the, or your book in textual form it means that they input as a text not an image so most of that for this purpose i i will use the special kind of software uh, to convert the text as known as scan it is a device that capture images from photographs magazines books etc and store them into computer in digital form as you know that computer understand only digital uh, digits zero one so when i it store in our computer in the memory not in the hard disk where we will don't worry that we when we open it it uh, shows as it is the picture we captured but at the memory this picture is stored in digital form digital form means it will store in form like 0100 like this one these images can be edited so why we store these images can be edited edited means i can change the background of that image displayed on the screen or inserted in the documents so i can change the documents uh, heading of that image you can say that this one so scanner is an input device next input device is barcode reader most commonly bar this device is used in where in superstore they are using the barcode reader why they are using because every product when you purchase every product at the top or at the bottom of that product some lines are there and these lines are known as barcode and this barcode who will read but that device who will read that lines is known as barcode reader so these devices are used in supermarkets commercial areas mostly common for the purpose of input to the computer so barcode reader is an input device it is a device that reads the barcode printed on the product barcode printed on the product i gave you the example that if you purchase any item like you purchase the milk for example at the bottom there is lines are there and how you will pay how you will pay 
with the help of these lines they will tell you the shopkeeper will tell you your amount for example this amount is 8 real 10 real up to so on and not all the lines tell the price although other lines can also be used for the country product for example which country uh, make this uh, halib or make this milk let's say saudi arabia they will tell you that it is the product of saudi arabia so all lines contain the different informations it is a device that reads the barcode printed on the products that represent product code description and price so how many things are there product code product code means let's say uh, almarai is not only making the milk they are also making yogurt they are also making different kinds of uh, Uses so when you take this uh, milk, one product code, let's say it's uh, one bar will represent it is a milk, and description description this means it will show this the which country have make it so this one is the description and price price means how many reals you will pay to buy this product. This information is used by the computer to print bill for the customer. So at the end, when you purchase the item, at the end, uh, the shopkeeper give you what they he will he give you a receipt at where which is the written that uh, this product is for eight real or ten real or whatever. So barcode reader is most commonly in, used in where in supermarkets at the shopkeepers at many other places you can use it. Next is digital camera. Nowadays, digital camera is almost discarded, but uh, for the high video resolution, still they are using. But nowadays, mobile camera is still using. They are also, we can say that it is also a digital camera. Mobile camera is also a digital camera. So, mobile camera is digital camera. What is the purpose? It is an input of images. It is a device used to capture pictures. What is the purpose of digital camera? Capture pictures and store them in digital form. All the things which are stored in computer or in mobiles are stored in the form of digits. That's why we call them digital form. These pictures can be downloaded to computer for editing, viewing, or inserting in documents as many teachers are inserting different kind of images in their lecture so we can say that they are inserting their pictures in the documents so we can just if i will say we can i can uh, just view of this picture or see of this way editing means if i have the background colors i can change the text written over there i can change so this one is called the editing so digital camera is an input input for which purpose for the purpose of pictures next is touch screen most commonly used touch screen nowadays where in mobile phones touch screen it is a pressure sensitive display screen pressure sensitive display screen that is used to interact with the computer so mostly come nowadays laptops are present with the help of touch screen you can use the touch screen uh, by input something so laptop is also nowadays available in the market it is a pressure sensitive display screen that is used to interact with the computer by touching pictures or words with finger with the help of fingers or some kind of other devices like pen so you can touch the screen so it, when you will touch the screen like when you open the mobile what happened you will select any option for example google play store what what you will do so you will just click or touch on the google play store and the google play store will be open for you and you can download any software from there so this is the touch screen touch screen is more commonly used where it is used nowadays Touch screen is more commonly used with mobile phone and tablet. So touch screen nowadays used in where? In mobile phone, in tablets. 
tablet means uh, bigger than mobile and smaller than laptop the, that is called the tablet so this so is the input these are the input devices most commonly input devices are keyboard mouse microphone scanner barcode reader digital camera and touch screen now this is your homework search this uh, topic from the google and uh, write the name of the input screen uh, input devices which are not present in this topic so you will this will be your homework what is what is your homework search on the google that how many other input devices are present which we are not discussing over here other than these devices you will not write this one so that devices will be your homework and you will ask. one more thing today hopefully this is our last lecture before the eid holidays after eid holidays if school is uh, open then we will discuss all of these topics again in the uh, in our class but this is if this is that continue the online lecture then we will discuss the further topics online but you will uh, take the from first lecture to the last lecture pause your screen and write all the topics in your copies right all the topic means you will have to write all 10 short question in your copies write all five long question in your copies and also these extra questions which are present in the chapter but not present in the exercise you will also have to write because they will also present in the examination so inshallah take care of yourself if the life will be remain inshallah we'll meet you in school or we'll meet you online so deposit your fees take care allah hafiz